Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers. Joe Grast grew up on a small Kansas farm and became a U.S. Army specialist working as a mechanic and a crew chief on helicopters during the Vietnam War. Uh, he even walked away after one of them crashed. Here's Jason Lamb with this week's Veteran Salute. Joe Garst graduated from Bennington High School, that's north of Salina, in 1966. He attended Hutch Juco for a semester, then he went to work for Beach Aircraft out of Salina. Garst was drafted into the U.S. Army in August of 67. Well, I knew it was going to happen because, um, you know, it was just a fact of life that I wasn't going to college and I wasn't married, so I knew that I had nothing to keep him from drafting me. So I knew I was going to get drafted and I was okay with that. Garst was sent to Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri for basic training. They didn't even let me march in graduation. The MOS that I signed up for, helicopter maintenance 67N20, was so critical that they flew me on an airplane straight to Fort Eustis, uh, Virginia, for my AIT, my advanced training, which was helicopter repair. He learned everything about the Huey. And they had over 7,000 Hueys in Vietnam. And of that 7,000, they lost 3,300. But they were the workhorse, you know. They flew in, they flew troops in and out. They went in uh, medevacs and, and picked up the wounded and got them out, command and control, and they flew supplies in too. After a brief stop at Hunter Army Air Force Base in Georgia, Garst was sent to Vietnam. Uh, Camp Evans was by way, and I don't know if you remember the the year before I went over is when the North Vietnamese came down, they took Wei Phu Bai and Da Nang, and we had to then push them back out. That was our tad of fancy. Then in December of 68, all of the 1st Cavalry Division was sent down the east coast of South Vietnam and up the Mekong River in LSTs to Saigon. Garst was on his way to Phu Loi, where he fixed everything on Hueys and performed 100-hour inspections. Those inspections were followed by test flights. So this is, this is Huey. This is basically what we were taking up that day. At 1,200 feet, the Huey suddenly went into auto rotation. Yeah, no, no, that's kind of strange. So I look up, and the whole instrument paddles lit up. Uh, the engine had flamed out. Not only did the engine flame out, but the hydraulics also stopped working. Garst braced for impact in a dry rice paddy field. And when it rolled over, I bounced off the gun mount. Well, when it straightened back up, it, you know, it kind of dazed me. I'm back up. And when it stopped, you know, it was completely destroyed. All five aboard walked away from the crash. Garst did have one other close call when his Huey narrowly avoided a B-52 strike. We did a 180 headed the other way, and before we could even get 30 seconds out, them bombs were falling. It just shook the crap out of us. Garst left Vietnam in late August of 69. After spending several months at Fort Stewart, Georgia, and at a NATO base in Germany, he was ordered to Fort Dix, New Jersey, for processing out of the Army. Garst came home and went back to work for Beach in Salina. In 1985, he transferred to Wichita to work on the Beach Starship Composite Program. He was promoted to senior engineer, and in 2010, he retired after 43-plus years. So that's basically what uh, a farm boy that started out farming and, and went to the military and how it fast-tracked me in supervision and ended up an engineering fellow kind of I think it was a great career, and I loved my tour of duty. In 2018, Garst tracked down the crew, pilots, and mechanics who were all involved in that Huey crash in 69. He also contributes money to the National Huey History Museum in Peru, Indiana. Garst lives in Augusta. Here for you, Jason Lamb, KSN News 3. On behalf of Devon James Injury Lawyers, we're excited to recognize this week's veteran, Joe Garst. Mr. Gar served our country in the United States Army and obtained the rank of Army Specialist 5. Thank you for your service, sir. Thank you, Devon James, for doing this for us Vietnam vets. We all appreciate it, and I enjoyed my time in the military and service. Thank you very much. Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers.